the, the piece, I think, very beautifully and, 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 and also very accurately uh, depicts what, what happens uh, during a seizure. I think one can begin hearing the piece, you know, it's uh, a, 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 a whole, it's complete, it's harmonious, melodic, and then you, can, you start hearing uh, very deliberately here certain notes which are sort of strident. They both disrupt the rhythm and they're also out of harmony with, mm -hmm. with the rest. And this is exactly what happens uh, in, in, in the uh, epileptic brain where there is neurons that are the epileptic neurons that fire uh, intermittently. And then we see the progression when they all get together, how they all coalesce and start getting more frequent. Mm -hmm. And then finally, the structure of the music is, of the pieces is destroyed. It is replaced by this cacophony of, uh, of, of sound uh, and which increases in, uh, a, in uh, a, a loudness and becomes slower, you know, it, it repeats at a slower pace until it sort of fades away and then you hear the, the struggle of the brain to, to reassemble itself into, you know, a, 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 a functioning whole. So I think that this piece is uh, indeed a, a, uh, not only, I think, a, a, a beautiful uh, but uh, it, it also, uh, uh, we hope, highly educational in terms that it, it directly allows you not just to think but to feel, mm -hmm. to feel what the seizure is. One of the advantages of working with a live symphony is that they have much more expressive control, much more uh, nuance.